guys, it's welcome you guys all back to my channel and today we are here with a Melanin Matters. So today we are actually going to be talking about quarter planning. As you guys know, I have talked about planning, organizing, habits, goals, tracking, planners. This is always my kind of thing that I like to do. But today we are actually going to be talking about how I do a reset for the quarter. Keep this in mind as I always have to say this. This is what I do. I like analyzing everything that I do. It's a part of my personality type. It's just how I personally translate things to myself. You do not have to do everything that I have to do. You don't have to do any of this. This is just my methods. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see what I do and then all of you guys said yes. So, bringing out the notebook. We have one, two, three, four, five sections. Um, we're just going to be inserting clips as I'm talking about the subjects of the vlog because I recorded most of the stuff, but some of the stuff I didn't because I just don't feel like you should see it. So, yeah. So, um, I have a catch-all calendar that I talk about like in the vlog sessions so that you can see everything that I do. It's color coded, it's all of that stuff. Good morning. If you're watching this, that means you are interested. Today we are doing a vlog style video. I don't know how many days this is gonna span over since I'm starting this earlier than I normally would, um, but it's the end of the month. Um, not only is it running to the end of the month, but it's also the end of quarter one. And you guys know I am a huge planner, obviously. Um, but what you guys might not know is everything that I do um, at the end of every quarter versus like the end of the year. Like the end of the year is like a way bigger clean out, clean up haul type situation. Whereas per quarter, I do some things. So I'm looking at my notes right now because I tried to, I tried to write everything out so that I knew where we were going. So we have a couple categories. We have tech, business, Patreon, body, personal goals, house, and finances. Oh, and then bullet journal. So we have seven sections to do as far as restarting. So I guess the first thing that we will discuss is tech, just because it's a little bit easier. So I have three major tasks that I do for tech, and um, I guess I might record my screen so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but basically, um, every quarter, I check my Dropbox, um, which prompts me to check all of my subscriptions. So, um, obviously, like most of us, I have a ton of subscriptions, and sometimes I just need to review them to see the ones that I've actually been using as opposed to the ones that have just been taking up space um, and then deciding if I want to cancel them or um, how I might end up having to use them. For example, I forgot to cancel my music bed subscription once my friend started making me music for my YouTube channel. So because of this, um, what I didn't realize is that it obviously renewed me, but Music Bed works on an annual contract. So I have to use Music Bed throughout this year. So what I've decided to obviously, obviously do is that I'm just going to use it um, on my YouTube more. So you'll probably notice that there's like subtle, more subtle background music and stuff like that in my videos because if I'm paying for it, I might as well use it. And um, always there's like ways to check this out, but one thing to note is that you should always keep a subscription list um, with the expiration dates and everything. Um, this was something that I did in the beginning of the year, but I completely forgot. So basically, I have, we're going to be, I'm doing this while talking. So my subscriptions that I need to review. Also, I look at my Dropbox. So I use my Dropbox for business things. And... My desktop is completely full right now. Completely. Actually, let me go ahead while we're talking and just go ahead and start a screen recording. So you guys can see how messy. 
you guys can see how messy my screen is. So, for some reason, normally my desktop stays very empty and organized, but this past quarter I've been I've been failing in a way that I'm just not normal. Well, not failing. Um, it just, you know, it's like, wow, sis, you should probably, probably organize these things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually just start naming everything that is in here. So, I actually have to go through my desktop and my downloads because obviously I upload stuff from Procreate, um, stuff from Procreate to this. So, I'm trying to look at the stuff that's already named and the stuff that's not named. Some of the stuff we have to go through and we have to delete them. Um, did I push record? Let me see. Oh, I did. Darn it. Okay. Let me, let me try this one more time. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, um... I'm checking for everything because also another thing, if you are a business owner, you do need to check the driver updates for whatever software you use. For me, like I look at like my printer and um, my printers, my cutting machines, they all have updates. And so sometimes if you have an update on your computer, you need to double check that your drivers have also had an update because that will cause problems, especially if you have like Silhouette or Cricut, your program will start acting up and that's because you needed to update your drivers. So I do all of this and I'm also drinking black tea. I do all of this. I check everything. We've already checked the printer. I don't need to update the stuff in the printer mainly because I don't use the scan option. So I just decided not to upload that just because you know, it's kind of like, what's the point? But I am going through and just moving stuff to the trash. Why can I not access? Okay. It's weird. It won't let me. There we go. So that's the screen record that I just did. All right. So if you guys see, like, when I do my, well, you're not... If you're not on my Patreon, you've never seen me put together sticker sheets. So I take screenshots of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and then I have a system of how I name them. Because these are all watermark, or these are all like the regular sheets. So they go into a separate folder in my um, thing, but this also requires me to have to name all of them. So while I clean out my desktop, go ahead and enjoy some music and we'll come back with the next step. As you can see, my desktop is officially empty. These are current projects and collaborations that I'm working on, so I can't do too much. So, ignore my mess of a desk. 
So now I'm just in my home by my home bullet journal. So this is like my catch all. It has a lot of information in there, but these are currently the subscriptions that I have and the ones that I starred are for business. So what I need to do obviously is I need to make sure that they are being taken out of my business account, not my personal account. And then I need to double check all of their expiration dates and uh, mark them in my calendar for future use. But what I'm noticing, obviously the one that I thought I was going to be able to get rid of is music bed, but I can't. Um, Owl Crate I'm, is paused and Fairy Loot is paused, if I'm not mistaken. So I have to double check those two, but all these other ones, they're perfectly fine. Like I just started using Buffer, so I don't have much of an opinion, but um, I'm going to do this part off camera because I also have a meeting. So I'm going to do that and then um, we'll come back and check off the rest, see what's left on our tech list. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I just finished a super long meeting. But while I did that, um, I have moved on. So, following my little checklist, as far as tech, I did clean off my desktop, I checked my subscriptions, and I organized my Dropbox, which took a little bit longer than I'd like to admit. I'm not going to show you guys that because that is my business stuff. But um, just know it definitely has been done already. Um, so the next thing on the list is um, I kind of combine personal goals and finances together. Obviously, I mean, they're in the same category. So I have here, which is like, it's just a simple um, calendar grid that I got off the internet. I printed it out, punched some holes. Um, and it sits in my notebook, like this was March. So basically, this is my catch-all. Um, this is my catch-all calendar for everything. This is where I write down, like, everything. Business, Patreon, personal appointments, uh, reminders, birthdays. Like, everything goes onto this calendar, and then I use this calendar to do everything else. So... The first thing that I did was, um, these are like all of my, these are all of my current, um, bills. So they actually stick on the inside of, with a piece of washi tape, they stick on the inside of my folder right here. Um, so while I'm putting that back. So what I do after that is I just review all of my utility bills and stuff like that just to make sure that nothing looks out of the ordinary. Like, for example, I need to upgrade my electricity plan. Yes, I live in Texas. So if y'all didn't know, based off that freeze, we do weird things here in Texas when it comes to electricity. Either way, that has already been filled in on my calendar. Um, and then another thing that I did was I have a dentist appointment this month. I also have the day that I want to get my facial because that's just a thing that I just really enjoy doing. As you guys can see, I'm way more comfortable getting on camera without makeup because my skincare regimen is just spot on and doing great. Um, so I have that done. So after I do that, I'm looking at my personal calendar to see, you know, like I'm adding in stuff like my sister's birthday, um, which is the 20th. So I need to add into my budget that she needs to get a gift. And I'll show you guys my, I'll show you guys how I do my budget. That'll be the next thing that we do because according to my checklist, um, as far as personal stuff, let me just, yeah, personal stuff, I'm literally just going to add personal stuff and finances to the same category. Um, what I also do in this catch-all calendar is plan out YouTube videos, um, schedule or plan out lives, plan out when I need to record podcasts uh, for Patreon and for Black Pros. So again, everything goes to this calendar. That's why this last calendar that you saw was um, just color-coded and crazy because this is the catch-all. So some of the categories, like I said, um, 
It's Patreon, YouTube, book club, bills, appointments, reminders. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Oh, and then I also include like um, important business dates on here. So I have a plan for the new releases to come out on the 16th of this month, which means I need to schedule a couple of days before that where I start pre-printing stickers um, because, A, that just makes life so much easier if you pre-print. So that's why I'm trying to get to a print-ready status. Um, but we'll probably go more into that when I get to the business side because this is personal. Also, I need to... Um, me and my therapist and I have gone to quarterly checks and for some reason whenever we move back this might be personal but it's fine whenever we move back to quarterly check-ins like I feel like I'm going through extreme turmoil and so instead of like contacting my therapist and deciding that I need to go back to once a month sessions um Basically, she suggested that I just put what I have learned in my two years of going to her uh, monthly and put that into me just like recentering and me trying to figure that out. So another thing that I'm doing in this section, I guess we're moving, we're moving into the next section. Everything personal is here. So that goes to body. So I have a separate planner. Uh, this is a Print Pressions B6. Um, yeah, it's a Print Pressions B6. And I track my workouts this way. So this is kind of personal. Um, and then I also, I also track my weight loss with weigh-ins. I'm not going to show you all of it. But the thing is, I would really like to go back to the trainer that I had um, and she had openings and I submitted my like request so what I am going to do is I'm going to send her an email today asking her if she does have availability but if she doesn't like I am just going back to work on myself by myself and it's really daunting um, it's just really daunting. So, like, meal prepping has to be put back into my life. But what I have been trying to do, what I started doing a couple months ago, then, you know, everything fell apart emotionally for me. Um, I plan out my meals for the month. So, because um, I like the idea of meal prep services. It's just that meal prep services for me right now, because it's not that it's not obtainable, like... Yeah, people call me bougie, spoiled, and everything. And I was like, yeah, I'm spoiled because I pay to spoil me. Um, but, so, what I do is every day I work out with my mom and my sisters via FaceTime after work. Um, I won't be doing it today because of quarantine pages. Um, but, normally we work out, and I plan out the workouts. Um, I've also been trying to incorporate more cardio by going outside. However, me personally, what I think I'm going to have to start going back to doing since we're teleworking indefinitely and, um, I need to call my gym because I think it's time to start going back to the gym in the early morning hours. And that worries me, but like, I think I just do better, so... Um, also, there's yoga in the mornings three times a week. So I guess, like, you know what? Since we're here, let's set, um, let's start setting the personal goals. So for my fitness, I have simple goals. I want to lose about two pounds a week. Um, I'll probably be sharing this on Patreon. I don't know. I'm... I feel like I've had to restart fitness so many times that nobody really wants to see this journey. So it's two pounds a week. Meal prep on Sundays and Wednesdays. And the only reason that I'm doing that is just because 
being at home makes me desire fresh food. So Sundays and Wednesdays are prep time. Um, I am going to officially cut out chocolate this month. Because I don't really eat candy. That's funny. Like, I don't really eat candy. But I eat up some Reese's. So I'm cutting out chocolate. And um, also, I've been baking cookies a lot. So I'm cutting out chocolate and cookies this month. And then next month, I'll just add on to the list. And then I have another goal of a gallon of water a day, which surprisingly inside my house has been a lot more difficult because my routine is normally outside of the office. So for fitness, I have one, two, three, I have four goals. I'm not going to go past those goals because that also, like you guys remember my uh, atomic habits, it requires me to create systems. So we're going to be creating systems throughout the month and seeing if they work. And then like once I have those under control, we'll just add to it. So it's like giving myself a direction to go in. Um... So we did that, we set the new fitness goals, then um, well I think I'm going to go eat, that's what I think I'm about to do, I think we're, I think we're going to go eat first. I already did my therapy, facial appointments, oh I haven't looked at the goals that I set for myself um, for the first quarter and that's personal so I'm not even going to show you guys what that is on camera but this is my journal and so at the beginning of every quarter I spend time just um, basically talking to myself like there we go like I have I did this I did it in December but this is kind of it um, I do, I have them separated in sections like I do for my yearly thing in my bullet journal. So I have love, relationships, career, body, mental, spiritual, and financial. So I'm going to review these personally and then I'm going to write some new goals. Um, man, I've been journaling. This is my, this is, this is the situation. Um, I really like that I cannot fill this journal. It's kind of nice. But I'm going to here and I'm just going to reflect on my goals. And so my recommendation for this section of your quarter reset is to grant yourself grace. Like you're human. You cannot predict how life goes. You cannot predict how you respond to it. Like you are a human being. So if you're looking at it and you're like, holy crap, everything sucks, I don't want to do this anymore, I say pause, you don't have to not do it. So what I'm doing for this quarter is I'm giving myself, I think I, I said I'm going to give myself six things that I want to accomplish this quarter on a personal level. It has nothing to do with business or nothing like that, like it's just me personally what I want to achieve for myself. And so even though I'm reviewing all of these, because these are my yearly goals, I just want to see where I am in my yearly goals and then pick some objectives that help me achieve some of the things in my yearly goals. It could be something that I didn't realize that I wanted to do until now, that kind of thing. So it really just depends. You just gotta, you just gotta go with it. So with that being said, I'm going to go eat some lunch and change scenery and I will catch up with you guys when it's time to move on to the next step. So the next thing that I do that I don't like doing is a monthly weigh-in. I do the monthly weigh-in, measurements, um, all of that stuff. It's not fun for me. Um, so I step on the scale every Sunday and I do measurements every Sunday. But I also have these three, I'm sorry, these three outfit or pieces of clothing that I try on at the beginning of every month. And... Um, I think now that I think about it, I'm like, maybe I should take a picture at the beginning of every month in whatever I'm trying to fit on, but I think I need to wait until I can actually fit, like I can actually pull the pants up over thunder and lightning. Yes, I do name my thighs. Um, so I'm, I don't know. It's like, I 
struggle with weight loss, obviously. So like showing it on the channel just makes reminds makes me feel like a failure because I always show you my starts, but I have yet to show you a finish. Like I do like one or two progress reports and then I just fall off. So I'm basically just doing it by myself and seeing where we're going with it. Hi guys, we're back at my desk. Sorry, I'm doing work. So I have a meeting that I have to do. That's very, very important. But, whew, excuse me, let's explain the next thing. So yesterday, the last thing that I showed you guys was my calendar, which I have no idea what I've done with. I think I might have taken it downstairs. But the next thing on the list, according to my long list, we've already done the goal review, the set new goals, set my appointments. Um, we're not doing housework on camera just because like I don't feel like doing that. Um, oh, the next thing is finances. So the next thing that I do is I review my finances from the last month and I, you know, sep make sure they're all separated into their respective categories, add them all up and see, did I stay in budget? Did I not? Like, where were my failures? Um, but because it's a new quarter, I do also want to create a new budget for myself. So during this meeting, um, because there are a lot of meetings where people just want to talk, because it's clear they haven't communicated, so I'm sure there's going to be a part of this meeting where it's not work-related at all. So when they start talking, I'm going to review my finances. And then I will, um, oh, oh, and also check my, check all of my bank accounts. So then I will get the camera set up and I will show you guys how I do my financial planners. So, yeah. I might not put the prices in there per se, but like y'all will see how I set everything up. So with that being said, let's get started. Oh, wait, I forgot. Then another thing that I do after I set my budget is I put every, I put my budget into every dollar and that's what I use to track my spending because I just don't remember to come back home and write it in a log. Hmm. So it's a lot easier to just take the receipt, scan the receipt onto every dollar, and then go from there. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, but right now I need some water, and I need to take aspirin because my head is throbbing, and I've got six minutes till this meeting. So let me go handle that, and let's move on to showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so I did my little bank review. So that's like all the colors and things. Um... I also wrote out like how much I spent. So what I normally do is I take my overall calendar that I've been that I haven't fully filled out yet, even though normally it would be filled out, and I mark the days. So this is this is in my my budget binder or the the financial section of my binder. Okay. And so what I do is I take the utilities and stuff that I have marked on my calendar um, also, like any other expenses, like my little sister's birthday is coming up. So, obviously, I will be buying a gift. Um, dentist appointment. I do have a copay this time. So, not dentist. This is supposed to say Disney Plus, not dentist. So, what I do is I... I, um, I mark all the days that something is due like this um that way I can see it and then I can also mark like what are my paydays so I know which one is coming out of which paycheck because then I make then I make little paycheck things And some of these are technically like from my business account, which I'll just have to mark later. But again, I'm one of those people that just needs to write everything out. So I think that's, I think that's all the bills this time. So my paycheck falls on and 
So also on paycheck days, I tried to also include tides. And then um, after I figure out everything that I have to spend this month, then I can determine savings. So basically, all of this, I mean, technically the check, like it won't take out until the next week anyway. So all of these are, all of these are paycheck one and then all of these are paycheck two. So then I take this and I will fill that in. I will fill that in later, but basically, yeah, this is paycheck one. So this is, mm -hmm. um, whoops, let's see. Okay, and then on the back we have these are all the expenses that I can predict right now. Um, groceries are a variable, so I kind of just guesstimate with that. Even though I'm trying to drop my, trying to make my grocery bill a lot less. Um, just considering how much I spend on food and then don't always eat what I buy. Okay, so basically what I do is I have this and this. Here's the thing. I have a section in my thing where I wrote down all my expenses and like these are projected amounts. So I'm actually working on my budget on what I think will be my budget for next month, but I have to also consider like food is a huge very food and entertainment are my biggest variables. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, how much I want to a lot. Also, um, I'm working on making my own financial sheets. So I like doing this kind of stuff to kind of tell myself that's how I want the sheet made. But yeah, so this technically gets transferred here because I don't actually want to fill this in with pen. I want to just keep reusing this whole section. So all of these get transferred here and I'll be able to calculate for the whole month and that'll help me determine how much I'm saving because I also have sinking funds that I want to put money into. So like my sinking funds are home repair, car repair, um, Thanksgiving because I'm thinking about throwing Thanksgiving again. And then Christmas, because my family is coming to visit me for Christmas this year, I also want to put money aside for my HOA and I want to build back up my travel fund. Um, plus, I would really like to make another extra car payment. So this is basically what I do. Sometimes I even go through and I put dots here to kind of help me remember which paycheck falls where. But... This is my, this is inside my budget thing. I don't have a lot of money goals. The money goals I'm trying to build right now are just consistency with my bills. So we're gonna. So this part kind of takes a while. I'm going to just do this off camera and then I'll show you guys everything and what it looks like when I'm finished. But I also just said like this past year I've been really checking like my financial statements. Um, a helps you prevent identity theft and then B it kind of just really helps put my spending in perspective. So yeah I'm going to work on my monthly budget right now so the next one is business and patreon uh you guys might not be interested in the, interested in this so you can check the timestamp down below to go to home section that'll be next so with business i try to clean my office clean off the desktop um or clean off my desk and then i also want to clean off my desktop um i clean out my desktop and my downloads i just try to keep some organization 
Um, I don't clear out my mailbox entirely. Like I, I, I tend to do that at the end of the year, but every quarter I set about 20 or 30 minutes to go through emails and delete more because I start off really well where I answer emails, read them, reply to them, put them in their respective categories or delete them. And then after a while, like all the ad pop-ups, all the shop pop-up, they just collect. So I set about 20 minutes on the timer and I just go through and delete them. And I don't remember if I recorded that for you guys, but I do need to point that out that that is something that I do. Um, also with the new quarter, I also do quarterly taxes. Um, sales taxes for Texas is quarterly, so I also do that, which requires me to also make sure that I have all of my expenses properly recorded on my financial spreadsheet. I get my financial spreadsheets that I use for Shopify and PayPal um, and the Square. I have all of those. I, I use the Shopify seller list and I use the PayPal and I use the Square add-on. Um, and that's only for when I have custom orders or somebody is buying from me in person. So I don't use those very often, but the Shopify seller one is the one that I use the most. So I have to go through and I have to look and make sure that I included every expense from this quarter. Um, I also try to write them down in my business planner. Good morning, guys. Um, this is my business planner. I have Patreon. I have big tasks that I need to do, like certain things are due for myself. Um, this is like my Patreon schedule. Everything that has to do with my business is here. Um, so I'm actually done with this aspect of my business planning. Um, I didn't record it. I kind of forgot. I forgot to record it. So I'm just showing you guys. And if anybody wants to know, the pen that I use is the Stetler Triplus Fineliner. It doesn't have a specific color, but it's from this pack right here. Um, so the next thing on my to-do list, as I'm also watching Overwatch, so the next thing on my to-do list, uh, let's see. We need to do the books and some projections and we need to make a timeline. I need to do some analytics review um, and everything. So that also implies that I need to pull out my reading. Oh, my reading planner is also here. So please ignore that. It's falling apart. So it's like I get to fill in, or rather, yeah. So I get to fill in my stats for the end of the month. I'm hoping to see some growth. Um, if not, I'm going to be really, really sad. Like, oh, and then I'm also working on packages for um, people's readathons. But yeah, so this part's like very tedious. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to just do it. Um, this is like super early morning. The sun's not even out yet. So I think I'm going to just, I think I'm going to just do it. And um, we'll just talk about it. So there is a section in my business planner that I change out every quarter. And that is my business expense log. So basically all this is, is that I, sometimes I might be too busy to pull up my spreadsheet, enter the information, blah, 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 blah. So I will actually open up my planner um, write the date that it was purchased, where it came from, the price, and what card I used. Or if I didn't use a card, like what form of payment. Um, so that if there ever came a time for me to get an audit, I'd be able to find like where everything came from. But I do track that here um, just so that I can double check it. Because again, like I said, sometimes I am on it. Like can't tell me nothing. I'm on it. And then sometimes I am just a... So... I like to check that. Um, also, every quarter, I like to look at my plans. So every month, I know what I want to release for Melanin Eclectic. But every quarter, I kind of like to look at what's coming up. So um, my goal has always been to be three months ahead of schedule. 
I'm only one month ahead of schedule right now. And so I've got to catch myself back up. Also, it gets to a point in the summer that I have to start preparing for planners. So because of that, I need to make sure that I have very clear, specific things laid out already so that I can still be making income while working on the planners. So this year, it's it's a little different for me. And I'll, I'm actually going to talk about this more on my Patreon um, because it's just things that I'm learning, that I'm realizing um, that I never implemented before that I should have implemented like a long time ago. Another thing that I do in terms of business is that I revamp, I wanted to revamp Patreon and I wanted to try to figure out ways to schedule social media early. So I think I said this in February um, that I really wanted to limit my social media and not, and, mm, mm, rather I wanted to limit my scrolling. Sp- unnecessary scrolling takes up so much time and plays a role in my mental health and and I'm sure everybody else is. So I was looking into something like Buffer um, for scheduling posts and things like that. But um, what I've learned is that if you open up the creator studio that Facebook has, if you open that up on your desktop computer, you're able to, um, there's a tab for like Facebook pages and then at the top, there's a menu that has Facebook and then Instagram. If you click the Instagram one, you can hook your Instagram accounts up to that. And you can also schedule posts from the Creator Studio on your desktop only. I tried it on the app. It doesn't work. So you have to do it on your desktop. So from that, it's like, okay, okay. Because I learned from, I'm going to have to insert her Instagram right here, um, that like, Content planning, like the way that I plan my YouTube videos is the way that I should start trying to plan my content. So that is something that I'm working on for this quarter is planning social media content because I've done it with Black Pros before, but I've never done it with Shop Melanin Eclectic or Melanin Eclectic. So the first two that I'm going to work on is Instagram and I'm going to use the Creator Studio. Hopefully it works, like hopefully. Otherwise, I'm going to use Buffer because I did do a two-week trial version of buffer and i like it the only thing that i don't like is that buffer only works for business accounts for instagram not content creator not personal it has to be a strict business account and that's the only thing that i don't like um but so far with the creator studio i can do um i can do stories i can do ig live i don't know i mean obviously i can't do reels but I do know that with TikTok, I can save my TikToks in draft form and just release them later. So that's the kind of thing that I'm working on this quarter in terms of businessing. Because again, the overall goal is engagement because engagement produces sales, engagement produces followers and subscribers. And I do want to get to 10K on my Instagram so that I can tell you all to swipe up for products. So that is a thing that I'm doing and this quarter is about social media engagement specifically with Instagram. This is quarter two, which is spring. So I do do spring cleaning. I've officially been in my house for one year, which is just nuts, but I have some things that I do every quarter. So obviously yard work has come back into play. Um, I'm currently looking for somebody to do my yard work for me regularly because I do not like yard work. I like gardening, but I do not like yard work. Those are two different things. Um, If you have a yard, you know what I'm talking about. Those are two different things. So I'm currently looking for that. And I'm also looking for a landscaper for the front of my house because I just don't know what to do with it. And it's something I've never done before. But we'll talk about that in the house Q&A video that I'm also going to be recording at some point today. The big task that I like to do for the quarter is dust. So I'm dusting all of the light fixtures. I just bought the duster that has the six foot extender clutch. Um, I'm dusting all of the blinds, wiping down the window seals, wiping down all the doors, baseboards. I'm mopping. I'm oiling all of the furniture that I have that is wood um, that needs like a good, decent rub down type thing. And I am wiping down... um, railings and all that stuff the stairs is getting a nice wash down tomorrow because I also have set aside that I do intense cleaning on Sunday mornings before church since I'm still doing church online this has given me an ample amount of time 
Plus when church is playing, that's usually when I'm folding clothes um, because the playback ability of live church has been wonderful. Um, so yeah, uh, that's everything that I do for a quarter reset. Now, my question to you guys is, would you guys like to see, um, would you guys like to see these kind of videos more often? Because I am at a place now where I can buy a vlog camera, but I will not be vlogging my entire life. I'll only be vlogging like routines and things like that. Things to show you what I'm doing and how I do them and things where I'm showing you how I build something for the house or something like that. If you guys are interested in seeing that kind of video, please let me know down below in the description box, mm, in the comment section. So until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stem words. <laughs> Bye, guys.